Hi folks, I'd like to show you this cool tool I made for finding year-round shadows and disposing of them. Just kidding, it doesn't dispose of them, but it is a pretty cool tool. In this other video I made, I showed how to find your year-round shadows by gathering elevation and azimuth information to fill out a sun chart. This way you'd know if there was too much shade for a solar application. The problem was, if the location you found was no good, then you had to repeat the whole half-hour long process again. With this new tool, all you do is trace the outline of the surrounding objects by manipulating this pivot arm, while also rotating the top part. That causes the pencil and the mount below to simultaneously draw the outline on a sun chart. And voila! In less than a minute, you're done. Of course, this saves time only if you're doing this often, since it takes a while to build this tool. Or unless you're like me and can't resist a juicy, challenging design and build such as this one. The sun chart shows the path of the sun through the sky in your area for every day of the year. This line represents the path of the sun on December 21st, when the sun is lowest in the sky. This is January 21st, and so on up to June 21st, when the sun is at its highest. The hours of the day are represented by these lines. Here's the sun chart filled in using this tool, and here's a panorama of the surrounding objects with the corresponding outline drawn in. You can see that the line overlaps where the sun will sometimes be. In other words, those objects shade the sun. This shows that for December through most of March, those objects will be shading the sun most of the time, so this is a lousy location for those times of the year. But if that's a problem, then with this tool, it takes only a minute to make a new sun chart for a different location. And when not being used for filling in sun charts, you can always use it as a weapon, saving the galaxy against the evil shadows. Long live the Alliance! <clears throat> anyway. What are some of the neat features? Well, the uh, bearings right here are rollerblade bearings, and in fact are the entire rollerblade wheels. Uh, same down here. For the elevation, I was originally going to do some complicated pulley system. Then I came up with this very simple design. I had this shoestring right here, which is inside this groove. And it just follows this groove in this curve. Uh, this curve represents a zero degrees elevation to 90 degrees elevation. The uh, string itself goes through this hole and down to the pencil mount. It is simply attached to the pencil mount right here. The pencil is attached only to this middle plate right here and is free to move through holes in the back and the front plate. And um, there's a spring right here which keeps the pencil firmly pressed against the sum chart despite any um, inconsistencies in the curvature of the plate that the sun chart is attached to. The uh, plate that the sun chart attaches to is simply a piece of aluminum flashing. And lastly, just to show you how I attach it all to the tripod, I'm just using the normal attachment for the camera for a tripod. Now luckily in this case, um, the screw that normally goes in the hole here for attaching the camera to the tripod, uh, this piece was removable, and I simply stuck a quarter inch um, bolt through there and washer and nut on this side right here. And that's a very simple attachment. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and look at my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for other solar-related videos and neat stuff I built. You'll also find my other video about the longer to use but much easier to make solar site survey tool, which I mentioned earlier. And don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like these videos. And leave any feedback or ideas about other videos in the comments below. Bye for now!